Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 20 of Lost by James Patterson. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest you click off the video now. You have been warned. That evening, Lila slipped out again with some friends, this time to go dancing in Fort Lauderdale, looking after both my mom and the kids. That day had sapped my last bit of strength which was why I was sleeping so hard when Lila called in the middle of the night. Hey, are you okay? I asked. I'm great, big brother, she slurred. Come down to the beach and join me. That way you can give me a ride home when I'm done. It sounds like you're already done. How much have you had to drink? Just a few vodka and cranberries and some champagne. I heard someone say something behind her and caught snatches of music. I figured she was in the ladies' room or maybe outside of one of the clubs. Lila added, oh, and we had a few shots too. Ever since men started realizing my little sister was a beauty, I told her that if she had too much to drink, she should call me and I'd come pick her up. No questions asked. I didn't mind missing a little sleep if it meant my sister didn't accept a ride from a stranger. I said, where are you? Beach Rockets between Sunrise Boulevard and Las Olas. Isn't that the new place for spring breakers? I thought it had a young crowd. I'm only 24. Just because I act like an old person around you and mom doesn't mean I'm not young. It's a fun dance club and tonight was ladies night. Okay, I'll be there in 20 minutes. I slipped through the house quietly. There were kids sleeping on couches and air mattresses everywhere. At least that's how it felt. I checked to make sure my mom was asleep. I was a little nervous about leaving, but I had no choice. I didn't want to wake up six kids and drive them 20 minutes to wait outside a bar. Everyone had my phone number, and they all knew how to use the house phone. Kids in the United States might not know what a landline was, but these kids did. When I pulled up to Trinity Beach Rockets, I could feel the music pulsing through the walls, even from my car. The bright colors and decorated rockets near the door covered up the fact that the place had been a dive bar, bar had been a dive bar six months ago. Of course, Lila wasn't waiting outside for me and she wasn't answering her phone. I could hear the beat of the bass through the thick concrete walls, so there was no way she could hear her phone inside the club. It'd been a while since I had to pass a bouncer and a uniformed cop working the door to get into a dance club in Fort Lauderdale or anywhere else for that matter. The place wasn't that all that big, but I didn't see Lila. I stood there for a few minutes hoping she'd walk by, then someone said, are you waiting for your sister? I was about to say yes, but then I turned and saw who had asked me the question. Rostov's man, Billy, Billy the Blade. His blue goatee seemed to make his teeth glow in the low light of the club. And standing at the bar right behind him wearing a goofy smile was Tibur, the tall Russian I'd smacked. Even in the dark, I saw, flower, the, saw the flowering tattoo running up to his face. That is the end of this chapter. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.